If you want to grow on YouTube, be sure to subscribe because I share with you the same easy methods that I used to grow. And for those who've been asking, yes, my YouTube Masterclass course is available again, where you get the same methods I used to grow a brand new channel from zero to over 1,000 subscribers in a month. And you also learn how to monetize your channel the way I do to generate automated income just like this. And to get access to that content, all you have to do is click the link in the description. And you can even see the results YouTubers in the course are sharing. What's going on? So today we're going to go over what I believe is the best free screen capture recording software there is right now. And that is through Streamlabs OBS. So I'm going to show you where to get it and how to set it up and, and why I love it so much. So let's go ahead and first go over to where you get it at. And so if you go to Google, just type in Streamlabs OBS and then it should be the very first search result. So we're going to go to open it up. And then right here, all you gotta do is click this and start downloading it. You can see it happening right down there. I'm gonna stop it because I already have Streamlabs OBS. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like once you get it installed. So you're gonna get this nifty little icon and you know just follow the prompts through however your computer is set up and get it installed. And then once you do, you're gonna see this icon. You click on that and we're gonna look at the platform itself. Now mine is already set up to capture my screen, but you're gonna have to set it up when you first open it. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But you can see right here, if I move this around, you get kind of that uh, dizzy effect right there where it's capturing the screen, that's capturing the screen, that's capturing the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this so that it's taking up the full screen. And then what we're gonna do is first and foremost, I'm gonna show you here where you can add a source that it's going to capture. So again, we're capturing my screen. So all you would do is go down here under sources and then hit the plus sign. Now one of the things that I love about Streamlabs OBS is how easy it is. It's laid out perfectly. You don't have to be an expert on any of this to figure it out, it's so nice. And then the other thing is it's a relatively small file to have on your computer. So it's not gonna, take up a lot of space it's not going to bog your computer down unless you have a really old slow computer to begin with but it's very smooth and when compared to other screen capture and editing devices like Camtasia which I have and I'm actually using to record this because I paid three hundred dollars for it it's super nice and so again we are in the ad source we click the plus button and now you have all of these options. So if you have an image open, you can select that as one of the sources. You can choose a specific browser as one of your sources. If you have a window open, you can use that as one of your sources. A video capture device like a webcam, you can pick that. And so for my purposes, I specifically just choose display capture. So if I click on that, double click. So now you can see it's really trippy because it's it's or it's adding another screen capture on top of the screen capture. We're gonna close that out. But again, all you gotta do is go down here to sources, click the plus sign, and then you can pick whatever source you want to have captured. And as I just said, display capture is what's going to capture everything that's on your computer monitor and the other thing I wanted to point out is under display capture you're going to get two options primary monitor secondary monitor so if you have two monitors you're going to want to pick one if you just have one monitor you can just double click and it's going to default to your primary monitor and that's pretty much it with sources now we got some other important settings to go over so keep watching and now I could make this into a five hour long video if I went over every feature but I just want to give you the basic features so you can download this and start utilizing it today if you wanted to so for the next thing you're going to want to do is go way down here in the bottom left hand corner on the settings gear and we're going to set up just some general settings that I think is gonna work best for most people. Now for the most part, I leave a lot of this stuff at, as a default setting, but there are some things you're gonna wanna change. Under general, I've left this pretty much as all defaults. The output is uh, has some nice choices here for you, nice options, and so for one, you can show confirmation dialog when starting stream so that you know you're actually streaming. You can just select that and then it will pop up, a window will pop up letting you know that you are streaming, but I don't have that selected. You can show the same thing when you stop streaming. You can have it automatically record when streaming, so then you can select that. So as soon as you start streaming, you automatically start recording in case you wanna record that stream simultaneously and have a file after the fact. You can actually select keep recording when stream stops. So for whatever, whatever reason, if you're recording some type of a video that you're kinda of jumping on and off the stream with, then you can continue to record. Or if maybe the stream stopped and you didn't want to stop, it'll continue to, it'll continue 
to record. And then a couple options related to buffering. So again, I didn't really touch anything in here. So let's go to the next tab. So under stream, you have stream type. I just left this at the default streaming services. And then the actual services themselves, you can pick through Twitch and Mixer and Facebook Live and all the rest. I have mine set to YouTube and YouTube Gaming. And then correspondingly have the primary YouTube ingest server selected. And then you gotta put your stream key in. If you don't know where your stream key is for YouTube, I'll show you that right now. So if we jump over to YouTube, the easiest way that I, I found, I just type it in. So it's youtube.com backslash live underscore dashboard. And then this, you can ignore this right now, but it's just this, live underscore dashboard after youtube.com and you'll end up on your streaming page and if you scroll down towards the bottom you're going to see this encoder setup and right here is your key so you're just going to want to copy that you can reveal it if you want to see it i just leave it mine hidden but you're going to want to copy that and then head back over to streamlabs and paste your key in here so now let's go to the output tab so for the output tab i left this at pretty much all the basic settings all the default settings except for you're going to want to come in here and choose your path where when you record where you want the files to go and so now it's going to default to someplace on your c drive i changed it to my desktop hard drive and the reason for that is i have a solid state disk that i like to keep free because it's way faster than a hard drive and so to conserve space when I after I record something I want it to default to go to my D drive which my desktop is set up to save things to my D drive so you can have this go anywhere you can actually go on your desktop and put a folder for your Streamlab recordings or movie recordings however you want to label it and then you can add an extension here for a folder for your videos to automatically go in there I just like having mine go to my desktop because then as soon as I'm done recording, there it is on my desktop and then I can start doing what I want with it in terms of editing and so on. If I want to save it somewhere else, I can do it there. I don't have to keep looking for where it went. This is also important, recording format. Uh, I believe it defaults at FLV. Most people are going to want to put it as MP4. It's just easier to work with. And so that's what I typically use for M was, as MP4. And then as for the rest of this, I've left this as all default settings. Let's go ahead and check out the next tab. So again, you're going to leave most of this, I would believe, as a default setting, except for you're going to want to choose your device that you're going to record with. So I have this USB mic. It's really nice that I'm recording with right now versus another mic that I have. So I have that set up as my preferred audio device. And then for these defaults, it's automatically going to record what's going on with your computer. So if you're watching a, a video or playing a game and you're talking over it, it's gonna automatically record that. And they have an option if you have a secondary desktop audio, audio device for most people, this is gonna be fine. Just leave this alone and just select whatever microphone you have to record your voice. One of the last things we'll cover right now, again, this is just real basic, easy, and that way you can get it set up and start using it immediately, is we'll go into video. And so for this, I don't remember the defaults necessarily, but I just have mine set at 1080p, so 1920 times 1080, and that's also both for the base resolution and the output resolution. And then everything else I left as a default. You're gonna wanna have this at either 30 or 60. There are variants in between, just leave them at either 30 or 60. The variants aren't gonna make that much of a difference. So now that we have all the setups in place, let's go ahead and do a practice record. And so that way you can see that just by setting this up the way I showed you, it's gonna work fine. You go down here to record, or it should work fine, I should say. You're going to go here to record, hit the record button, and then you're going to see the light turn bright red and this little timer kick on so you know that's recording. And then we have the file path set up again, so that's going to go right onto my desktop. Remember the file path we set, and I'm going to hit the record button again, which will stop it. And now it should have automatically produced an MP4 file, because that's what we set the default for, as a file right on my desktop. So let's minimize this. And then right here, there it is. So if we open this, hit the record button, and then you're gonna see the, it starts automatically playing. I can minimize it for you so that it's not so big, but there it is. There's our MP4 file that we just created using Streamlabs OBS. So if you'd like to see more advanced settings or how to use it more specifically to stream, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a follow-up video on that. And so I've been getting a lot of questions on what the best 
screen capture recording software there is out there that's free and in my opinion this is probably the best or one of the best ones out there so if you want more tips and information on how to do stuff on YouTube or make money online be sure to subscribe and set up your notifications so you don't miss my content and with that said I'm gonna wrap this video up and I'll see you in the next